name is Giuseppe Tarantini, reporting for Europe PCR Television and while attending the Europe PCR 2018 meeting. Today in studio we have a special guest that is Nicolò Piazza, a good friend of mine, a colleague. And today we have to discuss, to make an overview of all the data that has been presented in, in this meeting related to the TAVR system. So let's start with one point that I think is of utmost importance, that is the lower risk patient. Where are the new evidence for that? So during the TAVI hotline sessions, uh, there was the uh, Sir Tavi trial that was reported uh, with respect to a subgroup analysis. And what the authors did was that they separated the STS score uh, into tertiles. So less than 3%, 3% to 5%, and greater than 5%. And just to remind ourselves that the Sir Tavi trial was a randomized study comparing surgery to TAVR within intermediate risk patients. And what they found was that in the low STS subgroup, that is STS score less than 3%, the mortality was 1.5% in TAVI versus 6.5% in surgery, uh, which was significant. Um, having said that, the mortality rates were similar in the STS score 3 to 5% and greater than 5%. Let's move to another topic that is the bicuspid valve. This is another, you know, unmet clinical need that we need to see if it is possible to cover. What about new data? Yeah, so we're starting to see more and more comparisons between tricuspid aortic stenosis versus bicuspid aortic stenosis uh, using transcatheter aortic valve technologies. And uh, here at PCR this year, we've, we're hearing results both from the U.S. and from China um, with this type of comparisons. Uh, within the U.S. and uh, using the TVT registry, uh, they did a propensity matched analysis. Uh, and came to find approximately 1,700 patients with bicuspid disease uh, versus 1,700 with tricuspid disease. These were propensity matched. And uh, what they found was that uh, the mortalities were similar, uh, albeit perhaps there was a higher degree of strokes in the bicuspid patients. So that's the point. What about the pacemaker rate in this, in this subset? Because from previous studies, we know that bicuspid valve were, you know, strictly, uh, there was an increase in the rate of pacemaker, whatever was the prosthesis that they implanted yeah. in so, this case. Right. In, in this scenario, uh, at the, in, within the TVT registry, um, the pacemaker rates were similar in the bicuspid versus tricuspid uh, patients. And uh, perhaps we can even move into the Chinese study. Uh, using the microport device. Yeah. Uh, and this was an early uh, safety and feasibility study uh, that involved 110 patients. 38% of those had bicuspid valves. Uh, and there too, they had similar outcomes with respect to mortality, stroke, and pacemaker rates. So new technologies, but also increasing the learning curve matter in this case to foresee a better outcome in this patient. The last point is about a TVT longevity. This is a really important point to sort out and to convince the people that everything goes in the right direction. Do we have data to objectivate this kind of expectation? Sure. So we've seen the randomized clinical data in the high-risk cohorts in the intermediate risk cohorts, TAVR versus surgery. And we, we're, we're seeing that between three and five years, there seems to be uh, similar outcomes with respect to durability, effective orifice areas and gradients across these valves. Here at PCR, uh, the Notion trial was uh, presented with the view uh, of using the uh, new definitions of bioprosthetic valve dysfunction that were recently published in the European Heart Journal. Uh, where they separated bioprosthetic valve dysfunction into structural valve deterioration, non-structural valve deterioration, endocarditis, and thrombosis. What was very interesting, Giuseppe, was that uh, within the structural valve deterioration category, uh, using the Notion trial, which was a low-risk randomized clinical trial, TAVI versus SAVR, the rate of structural valve deterioration was approximately 24% in surgery versus only about 5 or 6% in TAVR. Uh, and so this is very encouraging for TAVR, of course. For sure. Thank you. I think the time is very strict. We, I have to thank you a lot for that. And thank you for all the attenders. And, uh, you know, let's move on.